What's going on? So first off, just want to say hi to everybody. Uh, love you guys. Thanks for uh, letting me hang around. Hmm. Our recent little spat was, if only you knew the whole story. <laughs> Ridiculous. But yeah, the world we live in. Anyway, uh, big things happened here lately. I finally got a network managing CRM type of thing up and running. Uh, the new UNMS app is actually pretty amazing. Before I was doing all my network monitoring kind of manually, kind of by hand, just logging into radios and seeing what's going on and that kind of thing. Well, now UNMS is, I, I wouldn't say it's done, but it works mostly. Now I can't show you entire screens of this, so it's gonna be kind of abbreviated and probably sort of stupid looking to you guys, but at least you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. It is up and running. I got it configured and, and it it's good. It's not perfect yet, but it's good. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be very blurred, but sorry. Top left corner, you have kind of just an overall, you know, how's the network health? sort of thing going on. Then bottom left, shit, probably half the screen overall, you have individual hosts. Uh, you can't see that, or at least all of it, because, you know, network privacy and all that kind of noise. And then on the right, you have notifications, which I've blurred out almost completely because, again, network privacy. One of the main things about this that I would change is the notifications on the right you can't clear them out. You see notifications about everything forever, at least as far as I can tell. Being able to clear out the notifications for stuff you've seen, you could acknowledge it or you know clear it or whatever, that would be good. I don't need to see that an antenna went down, you know, shit, like two days ago or whatever. I don't care, I already saw it, we're good. Another thing that's kind of a little bit janky with this is I have a couple radios that like to just drop for like 30 seconds and then come back up. Um, I've logged into all of the radios in question. Nothing is out of the ordinary. Nothing seems strange. They don't show any signs of dropping or anything weird. I think it's just a UNMS thing, but I uh, don't really know. It just kind of seems to happen. It's kind of weird. Being as I am running version 1.0.1, I'm kind of going to chalk it up to that. Another thing that UNMS does is the CRM, the uh, customer management side of things, where you can send invoices and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty damn good, but it still doesn't seem quite done. It's supposed to use Let's Encrypt, and mine isn't working. Uh, it just keeps giving me an error saying it can't renew the cert. I don't know why. It says there's some log I can see somewhere that'll tell me info about it. I I don't know where the log is. So it's a little bit kind of weird as far as that goes. This could very well just be my ignorance, 100%. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's not letting me do HTTPS. And that's kind of screwing up the whole thing as far as sending links to people and sending invoices to people because when they try to click the link, it does all kinds of weird stuff. Um, it's not 100% done yet, but I mean like my install of it, I'm not talking about the, the application itself. I'm not 100% up with it yet, but getting there, getting there. Uh, overall, really happy with it though. It, it's, it's really cool. It's a, it's a good way to do everything in one spot. And that's why I like Ubiquity. Everything kind of just works. It, it's almost like the Apple of networking things, <laughs> sort of, except they don't rip you off. Also, I have this big box right here. This is a radom. That's gonna go on the relay dish. Hopefully it'll cut down on some noise, make things work a little bit better. Um, wasn't super expensive, thought I'd give it a try, and if it works really well, I'll put it on the DC too. But the real star of today's show is I have moved away from nano beams to light beams. 
We're gonna give the Lightbeam AC Gen 2 a shot. They're supposed to actually reject noise a little bit better than the nano beams and be kind of better performing overall. And they're like half the price. So I thought I'd give them a shot, ordered a couple of them, have an install tomorrow, which I am going to record for you guys. I know you're stoked about it. You guys wanted to see an install. So uh, tomorrow we're doing an install. I'm gonna record it for you guys. It'll be up next week. So stay tuned. But yeah, uh, gonna install the light beam and before I do that I have to put it together uh, these come in like 15 pieces unlike the nano beams that are just kind of plug and play so let's put this bad boy together shall we Got it all put together. Uh, definitely a completely different sort of thing from the uh, nano beams. Like these, you have to assemble a lot more. But it's pretty straightforward. It's really not that hard. I pulled a uh, RTFD briefly. Glance at the uh, directions, because hell yeah, why not, right? Even though I love to joke about not using directions, uh, I do when need be. And poof, we're up and running. And then that's where the ethernet cable goes. So I'm gonna plug it in and configure it, get it ready for tomorrow's deployment, and away we go. So yeah, uh, big progress this week. Got the UNMS up and running, got this. Uh, I'm gonna be putting up the uh, radome here soon. I should say putting the radome on the dish. You know what I mean. All in all, progress. <laughs> But yeah, next week is gonna be the install video that you've all been wanting. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that uh, like button and you know, all that stupid pandering bullshit everybody does. God, I hate it so much. Tis life on YouTube. Uh, love you guys. Later.